Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emelifon Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are discussing why your fishes cannibalize when you stop them from fingerlings juvenile until 10 weeks. That is why fishes eat themselves the most when they are very very small until stocking to like about 10 weeks before you notice that they stop reducing, they start reducing the way they eat themselves. That's what we're going to be learning today and it will interest you to know why this happens at this earliest period now if you've not followed us i don't know what you're waiting for follow or subscribe on all our channels on our youtube channel the name is let us farm and remember we don't have any whatsapp group i would never ask you to pay money to join any whatsapp group any problem we have we treat it here so if you're having any situation in your farm simply do a two to three minutes video of this problem and send it to me i would pre help you to give you a solution that help you come out of this problem free of charge we won't charge you for anything so subscribe to our channel follow us on all our profit platforms and ask me any question about catfishes that you don't understand and i will gladly answer you i will be right back to discuss this welcome back so you may have noticed that your catfishes they die mostly you know from when you stock them could be you stock them from juvenile you know fingerlings and they die more but when they get to like 10 weeks after stocking you notice that the death rate starts reducing and just like that like that until they get very big and you sell them you may have noticed this yeah it happens but sometimes you start to wonder why does this situation happen so that's what we're going to be discussing now let us understand why this particular incident happened now i will advise you pay attention to everything i'm going to say and anything you don't understand please ask me at the end of this video so first and foremost the first reason why this happens is one depending on how you stock your fish it starts from the stress level that you put your fish into before stocking them that is how you move them from where you bought them to when you stock them then how you stock them do you just pour them inside the pond or do you put them for them to flow out this is the first thing that gives them the first problem that could make them to start dying but this particular incident i just mentioned now will only affect your fishes from the day one to about three to four days after this three to four days are supposed to be stabilized but you see that in some cases it doesn't stabilize the fishes will go on to keep dying dying until something around 10 weeks before they start dying stop dying and the problem is that some of these deaths they appear in a very massive number they don't just die one or two they just die in quantity now what could be the cause what could make trigger this issue so like i said the first thing that causes this problem is the stress level of where you are bringing them from how it was managed onto your pond now the next thing that will now pick up the problem will be your stocking density you see most times i always talk about stocking density the reason is that stocking density is something that controls the life of your catfish in your pond now when you overstock your pond you have actually started giving problem to your fishes so you have actually opened the doors for them to start dying because there is something you know i always use this particular statement i don't know why i would say life you know the the equation of life which is where one must go for one to enter that's life equation so there must be death for them for them to be bet now in this situation the situation of life may happen because when you have overstocked the pond there is no space for them to do anything they want to do so they what they do is that they start eating themselves to create a natural space for themselves so if it's a pond that ordinarily is supposed to take 400 and you now stock 1000 then they will, the bigger ones inside that pond will start eating the smaller ones and some of these smaller ones will start giving injury to the bigger ones during water change and this injury when they see the, fl the, the, the fresh blood it will trigger most of them to start cannibalizing so you now see your very big fish start running in the pond and others are chasing on it before you know they eat that fish all these things are happening because the pond is overstocked so they're always running into each other now this is what they will keep doing 
until they reduce the number. Remember, the pond is the. Is, I'm giving an example with the pond. So you take 400 and you put 1000. Now, by the time they have eaten up like 300, so instead of 400, they've eaten 300, they still have another excess of 300. That's where survival of the fittest start happening. Now, each of these fish is actually releasing bodily waste. And this bodily waste contains ammonia, high ammonia concentration. As they release it inside this pond, these fishes will keep taking, ingesting this in. It will lead to fin rot. It will lead to a lot of diseases in the pond. And they also will not start dying. Sometimes you get to your pond, you see some of the fishes floating dead. Plus the one they are eating. You see, the number will keep producing gradually, gradually, gradually until you get to something like 500 or 550. Then they will now start doing survival of the fittest. Now, what now happens at this point? Because this thing started from the point of stalking, which is the fingerlings or the juvenile. So every day they are doing this thing. They are all fighting to create space for themselves. They are also fighting the disease that occurs from the high ammonia consent a concentration in that pond some people will say eh, because of that i now change their water every day since i change the water every day they are not dying okay who told you they are not dying they are eating themselves now some of them that are not eating themselves they are not dying more than 40 to 50 percent of that fish will always be under the pond and won't grow but you don't know because you always seen the ones that die float and you don't see others and if it's on eating pond, you will never know if they are dying. So by the time this particular process keeps dragging, 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 when they are about 10 weeks old, remember you stop them from fingerlings or from juvenile. So you have a bundle of like between 10 and 13 weeks. And this particular thing I have mentioned, all these things are going on in that pond. So by 10 weeks, most of the fishes would have been fed up. Some of those fishes, small fishes that used to be very agile when they were small, you know, now they are getting bigger. So they would have been fed up. They would just like lift their feet that, okay, anyhow, anyhow, we will survive. So this particular point, they have reduced the number, but they are not tired of even eating the fish. So they are no longer as interested as they were eating them when they were small. They just stay in the pond. So that time you discover that the death rate reduces, but unfortunately, what will not happen at that time is that most of them will never grow well again because you have indirectly slowed down their growth because you overstocked. So because of some people that will say, oh, hi, yes, they will eat themselves at that time, you're okay. You're not okay. One, you have, you have lost enough number of the fishes, meaning that it's an economic waste. The money used in buying them, they have eaten it themselves. So you're not going to make any single dime from those ones they ate. That's number one problem. Then number two problem, majority of the fishes which are now tired will not grow again because some of them will go under the pond. They will care nothing less about coming up because already they have been boxed up to a corner. So you are going to lose again from that aspect that even the ones that grow out, majority will not meet up to what you want to sell. So at the end of the day, you get a negative result. So that's why people ask me, they say, wait, what's happening our fishes are dying every time we stock the fish but when they get to 10 weeks it looks like everything is well all is not well but the fishes on their own follow the natural instinct to create the space for themselves by eating up themselves creating more space for themselves and for others to grow fatter you may think oh maybe because you did not feed well yes feeding is also part of it but the problem is that you can't feed well where you overstock because they need space to be able to eat and digest. Remember, fishes have a very slow digestive system. So each time they eat well, they need to relax to digest. But now you overstock so they cannot do these things that naturally they would do. So that is the reason why you have more death rate from the time you stocked until they get to like 10 weeks, 11 weeks. Then you now see the slow a death rate again you now believe that all is well all is not well but for the fishes they are now tired of eating and fighting and all those things so you think that everything is well now have i said anything that that have confused you the more or do you want me to explain more on any other thing just kindly any other thing just kindly use the comment section and do you have further questions 
or do you have any problem in your farm simply do a two to three minutes video send it to me i look at this problem and i will help you free of charge until i come your way next time my name is emily 411 Obi of Leros farm keep farming see you of life